Hey guys and gals, Mark here at Blue Glow Electronics. It is Wednesday, August 30th, and I am in Shelby, North Carolina at the Ham Fest. As you guys know, I typically make a video here every year. And I got here about nine o'clock this morning, been walking around, mostly talking to people. I did pick up just a couple vacuum tubes, nothing of crazy significance. Uh, that's pretty much been my score for today. Um, pretty light. I think people are holding off because somewhere in the next hour or so, there is a ton of rain going to drop on this place. And I think so a lot of people have held off coming today because they're calling for tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday, some really nice weather, 80 degrees and no rain. So, um, should be amazing here. Let me flip this camera around and just show you what is here thus far. Just to orient you a little bit, this is the upper part where the uh, food vendors are. And there's actually a food vendor open here today. Never seen that on a Wednesday before. It's been a long time anyway. Um, you got some tents set up over here. Uh, I've got a couple cars here. And you've got some people set up in their RVs. But if you'll notice, most years typically they've already got tables out with gear going. But they haven't because of this pending rain that's coming. Try not to get you guys too sick here. Uh, this guy's setting up over here. Uh, this guy's set up here. There's another guy on the other side of him. And then you got a row of tents over here with uh, four or five people set up. And then there's two or three in your upper area. So, so far, you know, not a lot of people here, but um, like I said, we've had some good rag chew conversation with people riding around just talking. And uh, it's part of the fun for me. I'm in one of the upper buildings up here now and uh, yeah. guy's got Bunch of stuff from an estate sale here. Looks like a Helicrafters SX62A for $45. Old CB amp, uh, some coax, some antenna, a bunch of uh, rotors and an Astron unit here. An old Alliance, I used to have one of these, Alliance 73, I think it was. Uh, a great little rotor I used for years. It just didn't have a great brake on it. <laughs> um, these are pretty cool. Um, so switching power supplies, if you needed it, 12 volts at 50 amps and 5 volts at 100 amps. That's a, a lot of power coming out of that. Um, some relays, some ICOM gear, uh, 20, 251A, uh, 720, 5510, an R7000. Let's see. Some various uh, coax switches, a little Mirage unit, uh, SWR meter. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty neat little dial yeah, unit. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Some really small handy talkies HTs. Now, I went through here earlier and I found some tubes. I'll show you what I found earlier. They were all a dollar a piece. And different microphone connectors. This guy's got. Um, they go. He had some adapters to go from like four pin to a uh, large four pin and whatnot. Um, some resistors, various parts and pieces here. Old uh, tour HP RF signal generator. If anybody needs one, we'll rock out with that. And some mics and coax seal. This does great stuff if you need it to wrap around um, coax seals. An old Ameritron 811H um, amplifier runs, I think, four 811As in it. Uh, Collins 30L1. Looks like a Tektronix power supply there. 165 bucks. These are great. The old uh, decade resistance box here. Old grid dip meter. Got a antenna tuner here. Some kind of frequency synthesizer, 1 to 200 meg 250 megahertz. A signal generator. I don't know yeah. what range that covers, but it's got modulation, peak deviation, FM, some kind of FM signal generator. That's pretty cool. I'm going to look this one up tonight. It is. Make sure I get it in the video. An old HP 1741 and a Henry 2002 linear amplifier. Probably got two, three, five hundred. Let's just look inside here and see what it's got, maybe. Uh, nope, this one's got ceramic tubes. Uh, this one might be a two or six meter amplifier, I'm not sure. And some books. These are great to have if you don't have any. And some cables. 
the guy behind it here just has a lot of variety of you know stuff uh, somewhat equated to the stuff I see at most flea markets you know everything from bed sheets to uh, <laughs> bungee cords um, these I could use mm. that I'm gonna buy some of for sure before I leave here Let's see what he's got over here some uh, interesting video cassette player with little screens that pop up an old real calculator as I will call it and a bunch of DVDs it looks like here hey guys on the way to the Shelby Ham Fest Thursday morning beautiful full moon out weather is looking great um, we really didn't get a lot of rain to speak of yesterday evening and the rest of the week just looks amazing so exciting see you guys here at the Ham Fest all right, Thursday morning at the Shelby Ham Fest. Uh, a few people came in last night, but the rain, I think, uh, kept a lot of them out. As you can see here, I'm starting to get some people in. Um, this is my table. I uh, set this up this morning. I've got more in the car. I just can't fit it all on the table. I should have brought two tables, but I've got a uh, CD M2 rotor, uh, control box and the rotor. I've got a 177B, um, Military tube tester works great with the very rare matching uh, socket adapter that lets you go down to 9 pin and whatnot. And I've got a Motorola console amplifier. I like just bringing stuff to give people a chance to. Uh, it works well, by the way, 75 bucks. Uh, university horn driver here. This is a very early homebrew Type 45 stereo single ended amp here. Um, so you got a pair of 45s, the output tubes here, uh, input drivers there, uh, neat, neat unit. I brought a TV3 tube tester that works here, uh, some type of military uh, with slug um, RF watt meter, uh, an old Navy radio here, a super nice uh, Staco 15 amp bench variac with current meter, volt meter, and watt meter on it. Uh, an old Alltech uh, crossover that I had. I wish I had two of those. A pair of those if you got them, about 300 bucks. And a nice Heath kit uh, distortion analyzer that works with the book there. So, uh, guy here opening up this morning has got a bunch of tube testers. A uh, 667, I'm not sure what that is. You know, an old Hickok. That's a TV7A. A TV2. Not sure what that one is. That's a, that's a nice. Um, old TT1 um, heat kit, a Hickok 533, and there's a few others back there. He's trying to sell them all to me in one lot. I just got too many tube testers now. Um, I told him I'd help him price them and uh, he could get more out of them that way. So, But you see the stuff showing up here. Uh, this is the stuff you guys are looking for. Guy has a bunch of various RF stuff. That is a Big Variac. I'm trying to figure out how many. New in the box 10 amp Variac here. RF demi load. Some other Variacs. Some various stuff. He did have a nice uh, HP <laughs> signal generator. Some in the bucking transformer. 9 pin and the 25 pin. And some speakers. Yeah. Little capacitance bridge over there. Inductance bridge. Some nice old uh, Garcia. Okay. You might have fishing to, reels you got a oh, good stuff. Icon. all right i sold a thing or two so i put out a pv2 channel 130 watt per channel amplifier here and i bought a few things I'm trying to get my rf bench going this is a um you know a bird dummy load 50 ohms 500 watts 50 ohms 150 watts so i pick both of those up all right, the grand unveiling. I just bought this box. This might be the last box on this entire planet of these things here. Um, <laughs> new in the box. Oh, I'm gonna have to get out my knife to open one. Hmm, let's see if we can guess what they are right here. By the way, if you don't own a Leatherman Super Tool, you should. I, I, have, I keep one of these in every vehicle. They're amazing. All right, the grand unveil. Uh, 9 pin, 12AU7, 12AX7, whatever. Um, IERC uh, military tube sockets. These things are just amazing. And they're all aluminum lightweight. They slide right down over. And they make an amp look really, really good. And by the way, 
450 of them I just bought brand new in a box. All right, we sold a few things. So I put out some more free oscilloscope down here, good tube and some parts. I put out a uh, sine square wave generator RCA for $5. I put out a Western Electric Duquesne solid state PA amp. And I put out a bunch of tubes that all test good for $2 a tube. And can't beat this. A sound sign stereo from the 1970s. It's beautiful. And a probably early 70s, 19 um, Panasonic 8-track uh, player. All right, picked up a couple more items. An Astron RS70M. Beautiful uh, power supply, 70 amps. Could be classified as a welder. Uh, Sure SM7B and a Bear Dynamics M70 Pro X. We're going to be playing around with different mics and our new setup down in the uh, audio barn. So we'll see which one of these we like better. I also want to pick up a couple other ones and uh, play around with them. Onward. There we go. Me and Gary over here They're digging perfect. through all kinds of parts for stuff. This guy's got a little bit of everything. A lot of old ceramics, insulators and standoffs, enamel resistors, mica uh, caps, a little bit of everything here. I was talking to him about this uh, Cam 88, it's the first radio I ever owned right there, um, back in probably 1975 or so. You just never know what you find when you dig. It's a 600 volt uh, vitamin Q cap, 0.068. This is huh, a voice coil. Melic, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to look it up, but for three dollars, I took the chance. Same thing, guys. Got an Altec 1607A mixer power oh, amplifier for 600 bucks here. Bogan, yeah. All these were working, yep, when I took them out of churches. I got you, uh, and put your systems in, yep. A mic and transformer right in the back of it here. Peerless 15 a And I can't tell what the others are from here. Well, I bought some more stuff. I bought a pair of uh, 6550s for 10 bucks. Not the greatest shape, and they're made it made in China, but 10 bucks. What the heck? Um, brought an RF attenuator and then a box of all kinds of parts, and there were a bunch of transistors in here. And I got it for 20 bucks. I figured it was worth that. All right, picked up a blue ESR meter and some other stuff in a box for six bucks. How do you beat that? Entire case of brand new 6550 GE tubes. 20 bucks. Uh, oh, wait. Another case. They're 33GY7A, which I have no idea what that is. And these are 17 BF11s. 17 BF11s. Interesting stuff and some power supplies. This is a super cool piece. RCA AM station monitor, it looks yep. like. The knobs, the, I know, I was the, the RCA logo, the tubes. $25. Bring this down. Here's a 6AL5. How about I give you 20 bucks? Oh, and I'll take it. Hard bargain. And I'll take it with me. Yeah. All right. All right. Sold. Yeah, here's brought out a bunch of tubes. You know, I think I had a bunch of these and we sold them to Keith. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't realize you were. Oh, you're good. It's uh, 807s or 1625s. Yeah, a bunch of tubes varying mix and make here. Everybody needs to put these in their amps. Get rid of those crazy diodes. We'll see how many comments I get on that. More tubes and more tubes and more tubes. I looked through all of them. Didn't find much of anything. I had a 
beautiful Collins station here uh, at AMP is pristine, beautiful. All right, they, these guys have moved. They're usually, they're up here at the entrance now. And for years and years, these guys um, have been down in front of the, I think it's Weathers building. Um, but antennas, let's park some pieces. You need something, these guys usually have it. Let's see what else they got. All kinds of uh, connectors, adapters, antenna mount stuff, antennas, NMO studs. HT antennas, a ladder knife switch, uh, little duplexers, lots, lots of stuff here. I really like these style of cross needle setups, they're super cool. Um, it's like $179 cash out the door. If you need uh, switches, all kinds of connector ends, RCA jack, uh, double males, double females. Yeah, you just know you should just have one of all of these stereo jacks, switches, <laughs> the three to two converter here, yes. and some knives and stuff. All right, this is the upper area, what I would have called the barn area that used to be dirt floor and someone laid out a ton of cash to cement this place. I'm surprised this place is not packed because it's nice and cool, there's no sun, you won't get rained on, and you got concrete floor now. But this has me slightly concerned. Knife disposal, no return. I don't know whether they have knife fights here or why they have that, but interesting. All right, I found somebody throwing their knife away. All right, walked up on a Bradford solid state turntable with a new idler wheel for $45 and speakers that pull apart. That's pretty cool. Thought I had, could have bought that for my kids when they were in college. It would have been a great deal. All right, it's end of day Thursday here at the Ham Fest. As you can see, a whole lot more people here and still some coming in this evening, but it's about four o'clock and I am going to uh, head on to the house and leave some goodies for some other people. So uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, Friday morning here at the Ham Fest. I guess this is now the official first day of the Ham Fest. According to their website, it runs Friday through Sunday. As you see, there's getting to be a good bit of people here. I brought out a few more pieces. Um, TV2 tube tester, a uh, Jackson, and a Fisher 700, really nice case that'll fit a 400, 500, 700, or 800C type thing. Another little tube tester, and I had three more tube testers and I've sold them as I was bringing them out. And I sold about a half of those and other things as I was bringing them out of the gate. So oh, I brought a really nice uh, 2215A scope that works well, 80 bucks. And a box full of full capacitors here if somebody wants them. Yeah, got some good stuff here. Heat kit A9 amplifier for 150 bucks. It's a pretty little amp, nice and clean. All right, that is a capacitor. Let's see, 53 microfarads at five kilovolts. Everybody needs that. Back to somewhere in the 90s. Yeah, that early 90s. Twenty service monitor I'm looking at here. The screen looks good. It's just uh, syncing up with the camera. All right, guys, we're on the inside building now. A lot of rigs here. I've been over here all morning looking at the IFR station monitors, trying to decide I want to get one. Um, I've got a lot of discrete components today, and I'd like to get it all in one service monitor. And so there's two in here, and there's one outside. Um, I don't know. I'm debating back and forth. Hello, sir. How are you? I expect that to be on the cover of GQ. It will be. Good to see Promise. You. I'll see you guys around. Lots of gear here. This is a lot of stuff. Microphone equalizer, 100 bucks. Equalizer for ICOM. Yeah. 718, that's interesting. 7200. HF 50, six meters. This is how you learn Morse code right here. 
That's got all the original bed for it right there. Wow. 1938 yeah. Morris Code and there's instructor. There's the original paperwork for it right in that envelope. That's crazy. That's neat. MFJ antenna analyzers. We got all kinds of MFJ switching power supply. Let's see. 2350 artificial ground rig blaster. I used to have one of these. As a matter of fact, I probably still do. Sound card interface. Uh, let's see here. MFJ cross needle SWR meter. How do you beat that for $25? At least the prices are right here. Look at there. Little handy talkie for $8. Kenwood little power supply, BK Precision. Looks nice. A Timma frequency counter for $85. Audio oscillator, a couple scopes. I've seen a lot of scopes here at the Hamfest thus far. Let's keep going. Books, manuals. I always look at the books. Hmm. I had to come back and dig through those. Oh, check out the DB switch. It's attenuator. Oh, I love this. Oh, check that out. Switch them in. $50 though. Ouch. I like it a lot though. Manuals. Let's see what we got around over here. 30 amp power supply here of homebrew nature. I've been looking at this. It's a, uh, it's a bird watt meter. Dummy load. Two meter unit. Motorola stuff. Hello, sir. Making off on a bunch of. Hey, making a movie. Yeah. BK Precision. What is that? A signal level meter. Astron power supply. Old CD radio function generator. I'm not sure what that is. Huh. I'll have to study that a little bit. Oh, I like that. Like the realistic speaker here. Uh, GMRS repeater. Some kind of oh LaCroix oscilloscope. Those are nice. A lot of people love the LaCroix. Uh, standard signal generators. A bridge. CLR bridge. Super nice. Uh, you don't get any more accurate than that. Some plug-in. No, those are not plug-ins. Got here, oh, I like this decadence box. You've got resistance here, you've got capacitance here. That's pretty cool. And these people make all the badges. As a matter of fact, I had to order mine. I had one for 30 years and I lost it at the Charlotte Ham Fest. And but somebody found it and called me and said they were gonna send it to me, but it never showed up. So, Mark. KG4 FDR Moxel. This is a buddy of mine, Gary. So I'm gonna pick our badges up. Over here we got lots of books. I love books. I love technical books. I don't read fiction books. <laughs> Matter of fact, the only ones I've ever read was the ones they forced me to in grade school and college. Um, and even those I might have used the cliff notes on. Uh, but technical books, I've read a million. Antenna stuff, power connector stuff, lots of new radio stuff back here. And lots and lots of antennas here. This stuff's really good. The Comet stuff, um, the Diamond stuff, it's all good stuff. I, my personal opinion, I think those are made by the same people, but I could be wrong on that. But I will tell you, if you notice my previous videos, this building is always completely full and it is half full today. Um, just the ham fest in general is much, much lighter this year. Uh, I think it's just a continued trend of the, uh, the aging out of the hobby and I hate it, but um, it's only Friday. Hopefully some more people will show up tomorrow. All right, we got a Yezu azimuth indicator. Rotor box, uh, some crimpers, 
to a running tool and a power supplies. All right, we're doing the annual walk. Nice Alpha 76 here, Collins 30L1. Those are pretty. This guy has a ton of RF amplifiers. Um, some were originally CB based, many were originally ham based. That's a beautiful, oh wow. You don't know how bad I wanted one of those growing up. I used to stare at the heat kit catalog, <laughs> dreaming over that. Tron, that's an 811 amp, AL80, Clippertron, Dentron, Tintec Hercules. You don't see many of those, the 91 Betas. There's another beautiful Alpha 76. I've always wanted one of these too. I, I, they don't have auto tune, and I'm lazy. <laughs> There's the, this is the junior version of that one back there. Another. Uh, Dummy load, a bird watt meter. I sold three bird watt meters this morning before I even got them out of my car. Ooh. I, come to... I sold them too cheap is what I realized. But then again, the ones priced higher than that aren't selling. This guy here has a super heavy duty trailer for sale. We pushed it, pushed it out. He had to move it the other day. We pushed it around. 3500 for it. It's a pro audio guy. He is super knowledgeable. I spent an hour yesterday talking to him. Um, see, this is, I need to do this. Everybody's trading in their corded stuff for the cordless. And uh, I've got a bunch of Bosch stuff. And a generator. This is a uh, hammer one. What is that? MC. Let's make a second. I don't know. Hello, hello, how are you? I want to know why, when you want to do you bring those, the, the Grant's receivers huh? and Radio Shack receivers to Winston-Salem because you wanted them. I brought them to Winston-Salem, but you didn't come. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had, I, had, I, had, I had something come up. I don't remember whether it was, oh. Alrighty, lots of connectors and uh, balance, looks like. Let's see, power supplies, Versa tuner here, old Weston voltmeters, some kind of duplexer, 50 watt UHF duplexer. Oh, I need some of this stuff. John, remind me to come back. Okay. I need attenuators, I need kinds of stuff. I bought a bunch of this the other day. Oh my god. Yeah. Coax seal. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. All right. We got turnbuckles. We got some it's a really big. Really, really, really big uh tuning capacitor there. In case you lost your shoes, you can get some here. Power cords, little fans, lots of 12, 24 volt fans here. Hello. Let's see. Uh, connectors, rope. All kinds of odd man stuff. Oh, postal scale. Those are always handy, handy to have. This guy here has a great big MFJ meter. Looks like some kind of maybe power conditioner, desktop repeater. That might be a repeater. But it wouldn't be $15, I don't think. That's some kind of power conditioner unit. Yeah, two, that looks like it's a little higher than two meter. Time to main reflectometer. Yes, sir. That's pretty nifty right there. It could be yours. How much is that? $75? Yeah. Golly, you got that, that is a fraction, as you know. Oh, I know. Of what it does. You know what that does? Mm -hmm. No. All right, so you can do it with a signal generator and a scope, but you take a piece of coax or whatever and you shoot a signal down it. Okay. And then you measure the how long it takes for it to go down and come back, and you can pick up impedance bumps along the way. And this thing will map it right out for you on a screen. So you'll know. So you got a 300 foot cable, but you got. 
penis bump at 150 or 200 or whatever, you know you got a bad cable. Uh, um, and not only that, that one's got a chart that it'll print out. Oh, that's uh, pretty cool. That's just a super. I'll, I may have to come back and talk to you on that. I, I'd never use it, but it's. Went back when I wanted one, I couldn't afford one. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember years ago working with a brush recorder. Right. Where the signals had gotten too fast for the brush recorder, and they actually used photographic paper. Really? Yeah. I mean, you talk about something that was expensive to you. <laughs> and they had to, uh, and this, this was just on 60 cycle stuff. Right. But if you had a... a a problem we had a problem with a piece of equipment couldn't tell which scr which section was misfiring right and ended up getting it to fail often enough to run that uh, interesting photographic because you're looking at several hundred bucks a shot on, oh yeah on the scrs <laughs> and you didn't want to just replace everything yeah and, uh, oh that's crazy it's amazing what, yeah. uh, what technology has done yes it is Steve's over here finding the good stuff. All right. Earlier today, this person had a bunch, she brought out a bunch of tubes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. All anyway, right, I dug through them and found some good, some good uh, nine pin tubes. People still digging through the tubes down here. Find anything? Got a. IT-17 heat kit here. These are what I dug through this morning. But you never know what you'll find until you dig. It's got hot. Yes, it has. All right, we got a power supply. Got some tubes. A curve tracer kit. Oh! That's uh, pretty cool. Tracer. Plug that into your scope. Yep, so you need a scope. Yep, that's a pretty cool deal. That's tra curve tracing transistors. Do I need that? Uh, probably not. Some more tubes. All right, let's see what we got here. Radio Shack power supply, Workman power supply, some CB D104s, CB, some CB amps, more CB amps, old Elkin amps. Those were all made just up the road, 30 minutes from my house in Elkin, North Carolina. Got honey for sale? Been running great ever since Honey. Yeah. Columbus, North Carolina. They say you're supposed to buy this stuff local to you and then eat it. It's very local. Yeah, Is it's it? The same. Gotcha. It goes probably 100 miles and be considered local. It's all about the, the pollen. I got gotcha. you. This is uh, Mr. Tube. <laughs> he knows all. Yeah. He knows tubes. There you go. I'll come back and talk to you then. <laughs> Beautiful. Third. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful 32S1 Collins. I think this is Robert Romero's stuff. 75S1. It's beautiful. These are old um, Navy ship uh, lights. Solid copper. World War II. World War II. You know what kind of boat that would have been on? Nope. Woo. Got a nice 10 tech amp. Hey, you like All right, so this guy's got two of these, and he's trying to decide between which one he's going to buy. And, and he asked him, which, what's the difference? And when he opened this one up, check out what's down in here, inside here, a Western Electric Input Transformer. All of a sudden, it's not for sale. I offered him 60 bucks. I don't know why he's not taking it. All right, we got a portable repeater, a 28-volt power supply. A nice PV amp here. 12 volt solid stuff. Check it out. There you go. Crossfield. Okay. Nice unit. Went through these earlier. Got some transistors out of there. This guy's got a bunch of tubes over here. Varying. Went through those earlier. And just some various. Need keys, two dollars a piece. Nice little variant. That's neat. Oh shoot, I'm on three X. There we go. Let's see. We got some. I don't know what those are. Modulation meters. Yeah. Stereo monitors. 
That's pretty cool. Left channel, right channel. All right. MFJ antenna tuner versus tuner five. Kit audio generator there. Universal camera function generator. Phillips oscilloscope, a tech oscilloscope, and a HP pulse generator. Cool stuff. Here's got some stuff. Something up in this car there, but a Kenwood VHF unit. Old uh, Magnavox radio. That's pretty cool. Military radios. Super heavy duty. Oh, an old tech tube scope. Maybe that's not tech. Nope. That is tech. 515A. Bunch of Motorola gear here. Two way radio stuff. Then we get into a bunch of fans cables and a bunch of connectors got a little bit of everything here and some old CW keys and a brand new bird watt meter they're nice um, are they? That's a FT450 and ICON IC7200 and IC703 Oh, a few slugs if somebody needed some. No HF. <laughs> Did you sell those uh, Alpha 76s you had last year? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I sold them to a guy in Atlanta. Huh. Bought both of them. I want one, but I don't. I, I want one because back in the day I wanted one, but. Well, right now, now Alpha's kind of in limbo. Yeah. If you need a Black & Decker lawnmower, Helicrafters rigs, oh, yeah. little commander. Yeah. And yeah. over here we got. Oh, that's a pretty. That gun set. G63. Yeah, that's sky cool buddy. Nice. There we go. Drake stuff. Yeah, how you doing? There you go. Kenwood unit. MFJ. Nice stuff. All right, we got some Halloween decorations over here. Darling, so, you won't know if you had no, I was just looking. Microphones. Halloween decorations. <laughs> yeah. Oh, check it out. Some Dungeons and Dragons diecast figures. Bargain box. That's something else I collect is Dungeons and Dragons, but I collect stuff from the 70s and early 80s. Astron power supplies. Oh, this is neat. Dummy load, huh? Power Star. 2500. That's pretty cool. Up to 150 megahertz. Huh. I may come back and talk to you about those. That's a spec on it. She hangs straight down. Yeah, dummy loads. What? Let me take a picture of that. Am I going to be on your YouTube channel? Do you want to be on my YouTube channel? Yeah. Okay, well, you're going to be there. Okay, got you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Some repeaters, some cavity duplexers. Those are pretty. 460 megahertz range. And some more radios. Look what this guy's got a bunch of little doorknob capacitors. This is cool stuff. Super high voltage stuff. Marine wire. Interesting stuff. Uh, some climbing, climbing gear if you need some. Heat gun. This, oh, these are neat. Family radio service handhelds, 13 bucks. Oh, oh, 80 20. I've had 80 60s, but that's pretty simple right there. The 80 20. Some big old tube sockets. I don't know what that is. It's Klein, though. 
Maybe somebody in the video. I'll, I don't know. Somebody can tell me what that is. It fell off, right? Yeah. Um, all right. That I'm interested in, but I may already have one just like it. That's crown staples. And that... Let's see, that's bigger. I may, I may have to come back and talk to this guy about some of this. All right, we got some wire. Lots of tool. Oh, you know, you always need tools. Like, like good old... Good old needle nose pliers are hard to come by, man. Mm. Trying to see about those. Yeah, I need some of these. All right, I just bought all these. It's a ton of transistors and uh, zeners and different things, but for 20 bucks. And this stuff is just getting harder and harder to come by. Uh, let's see here. That's a pretty Tintec amp right there. Tintec type. Antenna rotor. There you go. Get your keyboard. Uh, some nice stuff here. Some kind of antenna. So, and some big fat tires. Little uh, New Mark Studio Master. Some kind of. I bought two mics already this week. Don't know what that one's a USB mic. Sure video antenna distribution systems integration amplifier some telex stuff a monitor and power supply and some old sony video stuff all right i love this old gold set stuff it's so beautiful they just made beautiful stuff the old yellow um the civil uh, the civil radio stuff See, those are some big balls. Two and five sixteenths. I don't have anything that big. I need a Razor no. X. That's an old one. Razor X skateboard there. Just checking it out. Back in the day, I rode many a skateboard. Let's see. This set of Sony speakers there. Yeah. Arrow heads, that's pretty cool. And that's a pretty clean little SBE radio. Yezu FT991. Andy Talkies. There we go. Microphone stand. And some antennas. Let's see here. Get a little Motorola mic. Get a Motorola Motrack. Talking to these guys earlier, I need another. Um, I want a spare one that has a serial port on it. I need to find one. Mount Mitchell Knife Works. This is cool stuff, man. Thank you. Oh, Lord. I love the old uh, railroad spikes turned into a knife. Yeah, that's a OK right there. Heck yeah. Neat stuff, for sure. Let people know you're here. All right. Little old handy talky antennas. Look, John, is it what I think it is? No, it's not. No, this is a uh, color bar and dot generator. Okay. But, Nothing we need. But in the same case, if you if you run across the heat kit audio generators that look just a little bit like okay. this, same case, buy them for $10, $20, whatever. Okay. Then you can get a kit off of heatkit.com for 30 bucks. That'll make them a low distortion unit. Uh, just a tip for everybody. That's cool. That is a uh, Heathkit IP32, which is a high voltage power supply. Do all your tube modeling with that. Somebody has a stoner style. That's interesting collect stoner radio stuff, but I think that is different. Collins filters. A little bit of everything here. Some tubes hidden in a box. Parts, pieces, knobs, inductors, power resistors. E329 rectifiers, cable ties, lots of stuff. Looks like the Mac gear is still here, the Altec gear, and the, the 
Scott gear is still here, but he's selling some ham gear. Guy here has a uh, really nice scope, Tektronik 46500 meg. Signal generator. I bought a super low value capacitance meter off this guy earlier. And uh, some tin tech cases. That's interesting. Little kits of some sort. Lots of little transistors. What are those? Can't tell here. K NEC 2SC199. 799, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and some board games if you want them. Some power strips. I think that was a Netgear. I knew it. Netgear. Nice D1. I can't believe a clean D104 is sitting here for $30. Yep. Yeah. And it has the soap. <laughs> All righty. We got a Fisher's turntable, a Craig unit here. Thank you. Tuner amplifier. This guy here always has tons of. CB radio stuff, uh, amplifiers, the duck crusher, the Avenger Black Widow, another duck crusher, fat boy, AEL automatic in circuit transistor tester. That's pretty cool. That's a nice, that's a uh, hand wired, uh, you can tell a hand wired Tram D201 by the fact it's got this little diamond right here on the front of the, the logo. And the inside's a little, it's not as clean as I would want, but those are super nice radios. Old Tram Titan II, and a Golden Eagle, and a whole slew of B104s, and Dozy Test Centers, and CDE antenna rotors. All right, just in case you're wondering, Rock Hill Ham yeah. Fest. Oh yeah, 75 years. October 7th. Yes, sir. Still in the same, little, the same little parking lot? Uh, it's Yeah, it's uh, get off the interstate. Uh, yep. I-77 just past uh, the Catawba River. Just It's on your right, just off All the right. interstate. I'll tell everybody it's about it. East Road, so. Awesome. Yeah, 75 years. Awesome. And we are the Pota Champions, National Champions, three years in a row. That is awesome. I mean, you know, that's why we got the flag. Woo! So, All right. See, I hope you all can come. Awesome. Another bird watt meters here. Or 11 meter gear. These things are always so beautiful. The old Robin 240Ds. Really nice radios. It's a bunch of Texas Star amps right there. More Elkin amps. I'm not sure what those are. Some kind of power supply stuff. Ivanez guitar amp. I bought a guitar amp off this guy earlier and I'll tell you about it and show you here later. He kit SB100 amp. It's not the original cover, but that's the original amp. 41,000. You see this tube? My hand's this big, okay? It is, <laughs> it's a monster. Uh, hey there. Oh, we got more. Are these, no, those are not all six. Border Collies? We got Border Collies. Somebody had an Aussie out here earlier. Black yeah. <laughs> I've got some Aussies, so uh, partial. But those are the smartest dogs on this earth right there. This one here, she ain't too smart. She's the smartest one, but she ain't too smart because every time she gets my phone, she just sends text messages. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. We got some more tool tubes. Rare broadcast band coils for HRO5. Yes, That's pretty rare. This right here, shoot your antenna up over the tree. I never have much luck with those things. I, I end up with them all in the tree. That's a nice Corsair too. I saw another one over there earlier. Those are nice radios. Oh, and some tubes. Yeah, all right, against all my better judgment and my healthy eating these days, I'm going up the hill here with John Runsky and we're going to eat some barbecue. How's that? I found the Aussie up here on the hill. I'll not make a video of it. Alright, that's some Ron 45G. Back in the 80s, I bought a 70 foot Ron 45G tower that looked like brand new. And I had it up for a long time. Um, moved and ended up selling it and wish I hadn't because that's some really sturdy stuff. 
got a Mohawk, a Hammerlin Super Pro here, a little National. There we go. Been looking at this unit here. I'll keep talking to him about it. Mike Echo Amatron Terminal Interface. That's interesting. Some keys and old SB 630 series. I used to have a whole setup of those. Wish I hadn't have sold that too. <laughs> All right, this guy here got tons and tons of uh, coax. Uh, LMR 240, LMR 400, solid center. Uh, whatever you do, if you run up a tower, don't use the solid center all the way up to your antenna. You need to switch over some kind of flexible, or you'll turn your rotor a few times and break your coax. One watt power laser, green pointer dot. That's crazy stuff. Yeah. Eighty dollars. That's a good deal. Some clips, speakers. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good speakers. You've been wanting some clip speakers. Well, I want the. Some ruckus R500s. We use tons of these. Yeah. Work. We install lots of ruckus access points in hotel rooms. Alrighty, a Yezu FTDX3000. That's a nice looking little rig. Kenwood power supply. Yezu FT890, so head, headphones, nice Kenwood MC85 mic there. This guy has a Bird 43, Kenwood TS811, and a TS790. Some Borderland D-Base, it's been a while, but I've done some of that. That's a Linda's version. There you go, there you go. Awesome. No, I'm retired. Helicrest. Speaker, calibration table of some sort, antenna compensator, and a signal corpse radio receiver. Some old Drake stuff, TR3, S3, letter voice microphone, Apache, I saw a Mohawk somewhere else down there. And some make sure you give, make sure you give more credit, credit to you, right? There you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a beautiful radio right there. Yes, it is. What is this? Tell them about the Asheville meet next week. Yeah, GPR 90. Okay. In the uh, side, side band adapter unit and speaker. That's beautiful. And don't forget to come to the Asheville, Asheville? Radio Museum September the 9th for a vintage radio flea market. It's all free, not the equipment. Set up for free. Tailgate for free, even visit the museum for free. That's next Saturday? Next Saturday. All right. September the 9th. I'll let everyone know about it. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, oversized. All right, a Tin Tech Model 2, the 23P. That's a nice signal corpse of R388. And a Cantronics modem. Everybody needs a modem. Cantronics modem, where do you see that? It, well, what is it, though? That's Ritty, what is this? Uh, that's a CW reader. Most, ah. I'm never going to sell that thing because most people don't know what it is. Those are actually kind of huh. sought after. It's gotcha. old and vintage, but they were very, very good Morse code readers. Oh, interesting. They look like some of the old ones. I should have known it's not a modem when it says field day. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Tell me what this is. I don't know. You don't know. Current reflect, no, it, power percent. It's a power monitor uh, out of a television transmitter rack. Ah. Yeah. That's pretty cool stuff. I like it. Useless, but cool. It's cool yeah, stuff. Not if you want those meters. Look at that. $3. There you go. All right. Thank you. Sure. Some really nice old radios. A Zenith. On, let's see. 1937 Zenith model GS128 beautiful. A 1934 RCA 
model 128 and an old Philco let's see what this is model 70 Cathedral that's nice this might be a modem some type of foam patch <laughs> might have a modem built into it teletype I don't know a Simpson 460 digital voltometer wave tech signal generator this guy when he unloaded had a bunch of big RF power supplies and stuff I love these racks I just uh, uh, contemplating Let's see here Heath kits that's pretty clean all right we've got a national we've got a helicopters all kinds of stuff here for sale Kenwood single sideband Moat VFO looks like maybe a Zachary T president and we talked about those in one of my videos John remember uh, no I don't remember remember they wire wrap uh, you run a wire down guy wire from your antenna and then you wrap that around that's what keeps no, I you. missed that one yeah. I don't, I don't. alright we got another Drake R4 some big IMAX 4 400s oh I see yeah there you go Helicrafters. I've had them on the air. Have you? Yep. And there again, some more vacuum tubes. 83s. Selling anything? You getting rid of anything? Yesterday did okay. Yeah. I sold a few things today. Yesterday, Look at that. Not so much. 12 mm -hmm. AU7. Today, right? There's yeah. a couple of clear top. He's trying to move stuff out 12 of it. 12 AU7s. Yeah. See what he's wanting for these. How much are you getting on the tubes? Dollar a piece there. All right. Take that whole box is ten bucks. I'm gonna take them a dollar a piece. I only need a couple. All right, these things have been out here all morning, and I just dug up a Muller 12 AU7 in a box, brand new, and five clear top RCA 12 AU7s here um, with the little side getter on them. All right, John just dug through this what, box. Amprex. 6DJ8. This is Mr. John's stuff here. What's it's a nice uh, Lambda power supply in one of those cases we were talking about. The Elkins are in. A little Pioneer turntable here. A clock with dollar sign. It looks like a dollar sign, but I don't know what that Seth is. Thomas, ST. ST, Seth Thomas. That's cool. And uh, 390. Did he, oh. did he respond back? Yeah. Nice tube tester of precision for hundred dollars. Vintage speakers. This is Brian. What you stuff. And, uh, yeah. Nice, 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 nice Collins. Nice Helicrafters. Beautiful stuff. That's a beautiful. Looks like Howard Mills restoration. Collins. Seventy-five A four. Elco. I'm not familiar with that. That's interesting. And a Collins crystal pack. Some old teletype parts here. Hello, JP. How you guys doing? Making a video. Old. Nice stuff. And if you need a scanner. These are deals, I'll tell you. Repeater indicator. There you go. I think these are Jack's tubes. He always brings lots of oddballs. Looks like Jack sold some stuff. Jack has sold some tubes today. It does look like. Let's see what we got here. We got some DVDs. We got a uh, tape deck. Some meters. Oh, Hickok. What is that? Crystal controlled VHF UHF marker calibrator. That's too cool. 25 cent a piece here. Just got to dig for them. Tested. He's got some stuff. Lots of tubes. There you Hello, sir. How you doing? Jeff, how you doing? <laughs> the top of a Hickok. What model was that? That was a 600. 
Heath Kit, Tektronics. Well, he sold most of his stuff. Leader patterns, right? Yeah, he he always moves stuff quickly. Kenwood, Heath Kit, another that's 630 series. All right, there's a 1200 SIFR. Whoa, people backing up here. Anyway. Uh, that might be in my category of stuff I'm looking for here. Only this guy earlier had a set of theater amps. Don't know what they were. Nobody does, but somebody got them, and it wasn't me. So I missed out on something. Apparently, they were in a rack with two, two amps. Hey, he's got some tubes here. Maybe I find stuff other people miss. You never know. The more you know about them, the less you're likely to miss something. Superior. Now that's huh, ten meter converter, Sparkomatic. Remember that stuff back? You remember that? Still in the box. There you go. <laughs> Great stuff. Hey. All right. We're having a good day. That's all that matters. Got some. What is this? This is SWR meters. Interesting. And some big old aluminum tripod antennas. What frequency are those? 10 gig. 10 gig? 10 gig. Whew. Is this building to building stuff? Make your pardon? Is this building to building stuff? Uh, this is like the microwave VHF, UHF guys. Gotcha. You know? Yep. Interesting. It's a, it's a fun hobby. Always something to yeah. learn. Another place to spend money. Yeah. There you go. I've done a lot of 2.4. That's 24 gig. I've done 2.47 gig building to building stuff. But for work? Cushcraft six meter, two meter loop fit antenna. New five element. Got some nice, that's a nice Sony shortwave. Yeah. Uh, be great to keep in your car for traveling. Where everybody should get started right here. Electronics playground. And a little laboratory here. That's cool. You can get you a cash box for $10. Cash is included. <sighs> there is a nickel in there. He did not lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not lie. I haven't lied in the last 10 minutes. Hey, see some tubes, 504. I'll dig through that in a minute. Some HP stuff here. A universal counter. Thank you. Okay. Another universal. Three universal counters and a voltmeter. Let's see what's in here. Too cool to see a uh, solar cell from the side here. It's just cool. Various parts and pieces. And uh, capacitors. Okay. Little adapters. More tubes? No, those are transistors. Alright, a bunch of heat kit gear. And some tubes back there. Yeah, I'm making one. Yeah, did you do one yesterday? I've been making them all week. Alright. So, Wednesday? Wednesday. Oh, there's a... Yeah, there's a nice bird. 4304. What are you asking on that? Let's see here. Lots and lots of stuff. SGC stuff, that was always good stuff. Yeezy Mike. Super high voltage probes there. BMW switch. Hey. I thought this was sweet. He did such a good job chain. Adding a little counter here. And uh, I've got one of these on my table for sale. Has not sold. Pardon? And this guy here's got the uh, IFR 1100AS and a parts unit. They both need, well that's parts, that one needs repair. That's probably worth a dollar. Little gates. Check it out. At one point it had lots of tubes in it. There's, that's super cool. Super, super cool. What I need the most, Skittles. HP printer, 746 Pro. I used to have one of those. Bought one new. Great radio. And a 50 amp 50 Astron. Amp. Well, I bought a, I bought a, a good price. I bought an RS 70 M yesterday. It's a beast. Um, yesterday, this guy had an IFR 1500 I was looking at. 
I rode by today and asked him, did he still have it? And he said, no, it died yesterday. So he's going to take it back and repair it. That's a Yezu FT-1000MP Mark IV. That's a nice rig. We just rig. had our 50th anniversary. Silver Eagle I know, I FTDX 3000. I know. I made sure you did. Yep. You know, I nice give out two $1,000 scholarships every year. Really? Every year. Huh? Yeah. Antenna tuner. RS 25M. It's one of my beautiful Collins transmitter here. Heath kit transmitter model DX100. Let's see what else. Got a Hammerland HQ170. It's a big old thing of building coax of some sort. All right, up top we got in the building, we got the, the wire man. All kinds of coax and connectors and anything you'd need for putting up antennas, whatnot. And over here, I can't think of this guy's name, but he comes to a lot of the shows and has all kinds of tools and stuff like uh, heat shrink wrap, zip ties. That's a big heat shrink wrap right there. Uh, that's, that's even bigger. Look at that. You know, shrink wrap your PVC tubing. Yeah. Good stuff here. And up where we were at yesterday, where they put the new concrete down. Yeah. Wayne, did you want to try to uh, find that downtown March place? Magnetic pedals. Where it was close to the ice cream. Yeah. A little electronics yeah. yeah. tuner. I don't even remember the name of it. And a really cool 19 inch wreck. But I think I'll know it. Very up. Somebody made that. It's nice. Old Heath Kid antenna tuner. Actually, it's a bunch of Power switched up. A bunch of microphones here. There you go. Guy up here has a bunch of computers, it looks like. Antennas. Oh, there's an IFR. What is this one? 1200A. I found this unit this morning. I drove by a guy and I looked over there and I said, Benny, what do you want for that thing? And he said, four. And I said, for what? And he said, 400. I said, you're crazy. Um, it's a cheap Sears and Roebuck uh, guitar amp, right? 1483. And uh, he said, go look them up on eBay. I did. The cheapest one sold recently was 1400. Most of them sold for 1700. So anyway, he sold it to me for $300. So I'm super happy with that. All right, guys, it's Friday at two o'clock. I think I'm going to pack up. Nobody wanted my TV too. Nobody wanted my Pioneer PL61. Um, that, I can't believe that didn't sell at 200 bucks. Nice, nice turntable. All it needs is a head shell. Um, anyway, we're going to pack this stuff up, head to the house, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's end of day on Friday, and I am packing up and headed out. I am 50-50 at this point on whether I'm coming back tomorrow. Torn on whether I'll make it back over here. I have um, bought everything I came and wanted to buy, and I sold everything I <laughs> pretty much wanted to sell. So this has been a very eventful ham fest for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the walk around and uh, hopefully they'll have this thing here. I heard a rumor up there in one of the buildings that they may be selling this property to the community college across the road. And I don't know what that'll mean. Um, maybe a different location here uh, that they'll move to or something, but stay tuned. We'll see you next year. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, see you guys again soon.